Hello students, let me welcome you all to a lesson in Standard 9th English through the Virtual Training Center of the Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai under the Work From Home Sessions. My name is Shraddha Teacher and we have been doing English here through the virtual class for Standard 9th and also as a part of these uh, lessons online due to the lockdown period. Now children, today we will look at a grammar point, that is we will learn some grammar from your textbook. So now most of the grammar that we do children is all textual grammar, that is grammar which is part of your lessons in the textbook. So now recently we did uh, a lesson in two parts, that is we looked at the lesson a necklace. Now in that particular lesson, the necklace, we have a grammar point, that is verb and its forms which is actually a very very important a part of learning English grammar. Now when you have to uh, speak English properly or when you have to write English properly or when you have to use English correctly that you have to pay a lot of attention to how you're using the verb in its proper tenses. So we will look at this particular exercise from your textbook itself. All right. So in this particular exercise, they have asked you to learn more about the verb in the base form, the verb in the S form, the past tense of verbs, the present participle tense of verbs and the past participle tense of verbs. So this is a long lesson. There are many things that we have to learn here. And most of these things sometimes are a little confusing also. But what we will try and do is we will pick up each of these points. That is we will first see what is the base form of a verb. How do you make the S form of a verb. How do you deal with the past tense of a verb. What is the past tense of a verb. What is the meaning of the present participle and the past participle of verbs. Okay. So we'll try and make it as easy as possible using easy uh, terms and also using easy and simple examples. So let us start at the beginning and let us try and understand the meaning of the base form of a verb. So what is the base form of a verb? The form of a verb without any endings is called as the base form of a verb. You will see an example of the base form here. P L A Y play. Okay, so this base form of a verb is the version of the verb that you will find in a dictionary. So when you're searching for a verb in a dictionary, you will not find playing or you will not find played in the dictionary originally. What will you find? You will find the word play and then you will see the various versions of it. Okay. So what is the base form once again? The base form of a verb is a verb without any endings. Now this is the most commonly used form in the simple present or in the form of an instruction. So what is the base form of the verb? It is the first form of the verb and it is most commonly used either in the simple present tense when you want to talk about something which is happening now simple present tense or in the imperative form imperative form means when we learned types of sentences we learned a type of sentence called as imperative sentence so imperative sentence meant what when you're giving an order to someone okay when you're giving an instruction to someone so the base form of the verb where will you find it you will find it either when the verb is appearing in the simple present tense or the verb is an, is an instructional form or an imperative form. Let us look at some examples here. So see, I eat mangoes. Simple present, eat. So if you uh, go through the dictionary, if you turn around the pages in the dictionary, you will find eat under the section E. Okay. Then the next example, I go there. So go is again an example of a verb in the base form. This go when you change it, when you add some things to it, then you make it going, okay? Or you make it gone, or you make it goes, but that is a different form. This is the base form. I 
work for a company. Simple present. Work. I work for a company. That means at present, I work for a company. They go there every day. Again, a simple present. Okay? So, these base forms of verbs are used in simple present tenses. And like I told you, in the imperative form. So, see in the imperative form, be quiet. You're instructing someone not to say anything. You're telling them to be quiet. Have a nice day. So, have a nice day is not in a way, you know, forcing someone to have a nice day. But you're, it is a kind of a wish that you're making for someone. Have a nice day. Now, the next one is a request or is an instruction. Make a chapati. So, these are all the base forms of the verb. So, that is our first point down. We were supposed to talk about base form of the verb. Let's move on and see the next point there, the S form of the verb. So, this is the form of the verb used to form the third person singular in the present tense. Third person singular is he, she, or it. Okay? That is the third person singular. In English, this is the most commonly formed by simply adding S or ES. Alright? So, the S form of the U verb is used in the third person singular in the present tense. And it is formed by adding S or by adding ES. There are some you can say exceptions also like for example see have it becomes has okay so that is a little change then you have do which takes es and becomes does and implies which drops the y and takes an ies so there are some exceptions also but usually it is formed by adding an s or by adding an es for example, walk becomes walks. Okay, we will look at some examples now. So, hope you understood what is the S form of the verb. So, the S form of the verb is you go one step ahead of the base form when you want to talk about a third person singular and in the present tense you make it or it is formed by adding the S or the ES and there are some irregular examples also. Let us look at some examples here. So, see, help becomes helps. Now, the second one is a little different. Carry, you have the Y, you drop it and it becomes carries. Okay? Clutch, you add ES. Clutches. Cut becomes cuts. Bring becomes brings. Run becomes runs. Fall becomes falls and drink becomes drinks. So, most of them except for the carry is in the regular form. It takes the S or it takes the ES. Some more example. See, listen becomes listens. Promise becomes promises. Say becomes says. Learn becomes learns. Change becomes changes and finishes finishes. Okay? So, this is the S form of the verb. When is it used? It is used in the third person singular present tense. I will show you an example. I will show you one more uh, image where there are some examples so you will understand better. See? This is the simple present tense and now we are looking at our example of the S. So, he Listens. I told you, you know, third person singular is he, she or it. So, I listen, you listen. There, there is no need to take the S. There is no need to add the S form. But when you are talking about he, then you say he listens to music. She listens to music. It listens to music. Okay. So, this is the third person singular. Alright? So, in these cases, the verb with the base form, it takes an S or it adds an ES. So, that is second point down. We talked about what is the base form and we talked about the S form. 
let us look at the next that we have learned about the past tense of verbs so what is the simple meaning of past tense past tense means something that has happened in the past something that has already happened an event which has taken place so see here we are here in the present the future is something which we do not know which will not happen now which will happen after now whereas the past is something which has happened before now so it is something which has already happened so see some examples here wave is waved jumped walked hopped liked watched talked so i think this is very easy for you to understand the simple past tense because you are in the ninth standard and we have been learning this before now also so let's look at some examples of past tense so a past tense tells us about an action that happened in the past most of the past tenses are formed by adding ed to the verb so you have walk and walked play and played you have look and looked smile smiled call called open opened so these are some simple examples or some regular examples of past tenses some more examples now some past tenses are irregular and sometimes the verb changes for example give becomes gave okay run becomes ran run give doesn't become gived or run doesn't become runned have becomes had see becomes saw so many of me i've heard many people saying i seed it yesterday But that is a wrong english okay to see is saw hold becomes held and get becomes got so little irregular <clears throat> not using the rule of adding ed so that is why it is irregular <clears throat> moving on let's look at some past tenses which do not change at all so see hit will remain hit so you will not say i hitted him yesterday or i hit him yesterday you will say i hit him i hit him today i hit him yesterday all right then you have put 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 will not be putted or put will not be packed okay put will still remain put in the past tense shut will also remain shut in the past tense and there are many more examples children so one small uh, uh the assignment i will give you in the middle of the lesson after you finish watching this video you can pick up the dictionary find out at least uh, 10 base verbs and then find out the past tense of these base verbs okay so that is an assignment as we go along let us move on and let us look at some more examples here so that the idea is clear to you so first we will look at the regular ones and then we will look at the irregular ones so we look at all of them together it's a mixed you can say bag so help is helped carry is carried clutch is clutched cut is cut see it is not changing okay bring has changed altogether it has become brought run has also changed ran fall has changed to fell and drink has changed to drank so you can see a mixed bag of past tense forms mixed examples where the first one is regular the second one wherever there is a y we drop the y and we add a ed and then you have clutch clutched and the others some more examples see here these are all irregular okay in the first list we had a few regular ones and some of the others were not regular here these are all irregular so eat becomes eight fall becomes fell feel becomes felt fight becomes fought find becomes found fly becomes flew and forget becomes forgot okay so this is a third point in our lesson we are talking about past tense forms of the verbs moving on to the next point we have two more points going children the meaning of present participle and the past participle 
also the present participle means a verb which ends with an ing okay and when the present participle is used in the verb it shows continuing actions and it always follows a helping verb it is also called as present progressive okay so something which is happening which is not finished happening but which is in the process of happening so one more exam one more definition the present participle is a type of verb that describes an action that is occurring during the current time so an action which is happening at present when a verb is used to describe that kind of an action then we call it as the present participle form of the verb now children there are some other points also connected with this sometimes verbs with the ing form it could be the gerund or it could also be the adjective but we are not looking at that point here now we are looking at present participle form of a verb used in the present progressive tense okay let us look at examples now here so see cook is cooking laugh is laughing cry is crying walk is walking think thinking sing singing eat eating and drink drinking so simple when you're using a verb in a sentence which shows the present progressive tense that is an action is happening in the present but it is continuing it will continue for some time maybe then that is called as the present participle use or form of the verb okay so now we come to the last point in our grammar lesson today for today the past participle form so like we have the present participle talking about the present the past participle will talk about the past or the perfect tense past participle forms of verbs are used in the perfect tense also so let us try and understand what it is the form of a verb usually made by adding ed so how is this verb formed by adding ed and it is used in some grammatical structures such as passive or in the present perfect tense so see cook is cooked okay so this could be the past participle or this could be the simple past also i will show you examples to differentiate the two so you understand what is the past participle form better so all right so see past participle what is past participle for regular past tense verbs it is the ed form that is like will become liked walk will become walked work will become worked talk will become talked so this is you can say simple past tense also you can also call it as the past participle for irregular verbs and you have to remember them for example see been seen had eaten shown written okay so now you usually don't say i had shown or i shown okay you say i had shown i have shown all right i have written i have eaten so these are the past participles past participles are usually used with the perfect tenses so let us look at some examples now of simple past a verb and its simple past form and its past participle form and i will highlight the differences to you so look at the verbs here verb is a talk simple past is talked cry is cried ring is rang swim is swam eat is ate rice is rose chase is chased and go is went so this is a simple past all right now then what is the past participle let us try and understand see talk past participle will still be talked for cry the past participle will still be cried whereas for ring the past participle instead of rang you will write rung i will tell you how it is used in different sentences swim simple past is swam he swam she swam past participle is swam so when you want to use past participle when you want to use a sentence in the perfect tense that time you make use of the past participle eat is eaten rises is risen chase is chased 
and who is gone let us look at some examples now so see talked when you use in the simple past you will say raj talked to ram today simple past tense he talked to ram today finished he has completed the action when we talk about simple past tense means the action has been completed finished and over whereas when talked is used as a past participle see raj has talked to ram about it so he has a talk there is something which needs to be talked about and raj has talked to ram about it and let us wait for the outcome so has talked there here the talked is in the past participle because it follows the helping verb has let us look at one more example see let us take eat and ate so the dog ate the biscuit he is finished eating it he is eaten the biscuit the dog ate the biscuit when you want to talk about past participle you will say the dog has eaten the biscuit okay so these are you can say some examples of the verb with the simple past as well as the past participle so some verbs some words they change when they are in the past participle all right so let us look at what all we have learned today so we talked about the base of form we will pick up two examples and try and see what all we learned today so base form of love and drink so these are the base of forms so along with the s love becomes loves and drink becomes drinks okay in the simple past love becomes loved and drink becomes drank it doesn't become drinked okay it is a little irregular here the present participle love becomes loving drink becomes drinking and the past participle love becomes loved and drink becomes drunk okay so all these things we talked about in the lesson today so let us see whether we Uh, accomplished what we started doing so we were looking at verb and its forms so let us look at a few examples from here before we wind up the lesson for today so the base of form give the s form is gives past tense is gave present participle is giving and past participle is given likewise we have draw we have eat we have shown take say come and go all right so i will not take a time now to read all of them because we have just a 15 minutes slot children and i think we have used most of it so today what did we do we looked at grammar from our lesson the necklace and we focused on the verb form if you remember we have done transitive and intransitive verbs also in the past we looked at what is the base verb what does it mean the s form of the verb with a lot of examples past tense with a lot of examples present participle past participle we also highlighted the difference between the verb in the past tense and the past participle tense and how the uses are different so children that was all for today from the virtual training center of the brihan mumbai mahanagar palika for you this is shraddha teacher saying bye till we meet next time again